Hey, what's going on, you beautiful people? My name's Tidai. I hope you guys had a pretty awesome day today. My day's been pretty awesome so far. So I didn't actually get a graphics video up for you guys this weekend. So I thought, even though it's a day late, I could bring you guys this really quick, really short tutorial on sort of how to make these low poly triangulation mosaic images that I was giving away in a pack. If you guys are still interested in getting the pack, it was a low poly pack. I'll show you some of the images here. I'll have a link to that in the description below, but I thought I would just show you guys how easy it is to make these images here. I'm also just gonna apologize right now. I'm pretty tired, so if I do start like slurring my words or something, I really do apologize, but uh, this is going to be a very quick tutorial. You guys will get this down very, very quickly. Um, I didn't actually come up with this style on my own, though. I did learn this from a channel called Chicha Check It. I don't think they post anymore, but um, they were a great channel, showed me how to do this, and uh, yeah, I kind of want to share the knowledge with you guys as well. So it's pretty much a technique that you can apply to any image at all. I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. One is on a symmetrical version of it, and one is sort of like a different all over the place version that uh, you guys just saw there. So for this first example, I'm going to do a symmetrical version on this picture that I made uh, titled Seasons. I made this a while ago. This must have been like about a year ago at this point. So pretty much import any image you want for a symmetrical version and just delete the lock for it being a uh, single layer document. So from here, what you want to do is press Control T on your keyboard just so you can resize it. Once you press that, you're going to get some new options up top here. Where you see the little H, what you want to do is uh, get rid of 00, zero and make it 45. So what that's going to do is it's going to skew it a little bit just like that. And from there, you can go to Filter, Pixelate, and if I can just find it, Mosaic. So what you want to do from here is choose how big you sort of want your triangles to be. I think when you're working with like a 1920 by 1080 aspect ratio, I think 43 is pretty good. Obviously adjust it, uh, adjust it however you want it to be for your specific image. But for me, I think this is pretty good. I already have a preset to that and I'm just going to press OK. So once we have it all pixelated, what we want to do is press Control T once again. Um, I, OK, sorry, I just got rid of my ruler there. <laughs> yeah, press Control T once again. Um, go to your H once again, and instead of doing 45, do negative 45. Now what that's going to do is just skew it back, and you sort of have these sort of diced up squares that are skewed over, but it's also the same proportions. It's kind of hard to explain, but you guys can, can visually see what I mean here. So once we have it set up this way, we're pretty much done really. We just want to press Control J to duplicate our layer, and with the top layer, we're going to hit Control T right click and flip horizontally so that's just going to sort of mirror it over and now that it's mirrored over if we drop the opacity down to say 50 percent it's going to be perfectly even on both sides and since it's just sort of like little um little cropped in a bit i'm just going to zo or zoom in bring it out a little bit and um as you can see, it's perfectly symmetrical on both sides. Obviously, this looks a little bit boring. What I would normally do with this is probably like change the the curves a little bit, you know, adjust it, like get the colors really popping. Maybe go to blue, bring the blues up, bring some parts down. Really just mess around with absolutely everything like this. There's no right way to do this, and every image is going to be completely different. This might not have been the best image to do simply because the bottom part is just straight blue, but maybe if that's something you're looking for, like you can go for that. I want to show you guys another example how to do this with a non-symmetrical version, and then you guys like, yeah, just change around the, the hue and find something you really think looks cool. Um, to be honest, I think the original looked the best, but a lot of the times you'll find something really crazy on the other side of the spectrum. Bring the saturation up, bring it down, whatever you guys want. But that's essentially how you do a symmetrical version of that. So now let's dive into something a little bit more interesting, and that is the non-symmetrical version. So I'm just going to open up two images here, try and make them around the same size. If not, it doesn't matter because you can really like stretch these images like crazy big and nothing's going to happen, right? Because it's so, so pixelated. It doesn't matter if it's a completely different size. So what I'm going to do is get one picture of Kha'Zix, Guardians of the Sand Kha'Zix from League of Legends, and Mecha Kha'Zix. And... Um, what I'm going to do is simply just drag this image into the same document, resize them so they're exactly the same size, and uh, fit in the same document size. And essentially we're going to do the exact same thing. So the bottom layer, of course, delete the lock. Um, start off with the top image, press Control T, change the H to 45, filter, pixelate, and mosaic. I'm going to keep it at 43. Control T and then negative 45. And now I'm just gonna shut this layer off just for now and we're gonna go to this bottom layer. Do the exact same thing. So Control T, 45, 
filter, pixelate, and mosaic. Make sure that the cell size is the same though when you're doing two different images. And then once again, control T, negative 45. And I'm gonna turn this top layer on again. So the next thing that you have to do is make sure even though it is a different image, you still need to flip it horizontally just so that the, the triangles sort of overlap or the squares overlap and make that triangular look. So now that it's flipped on its horizontal axis, I mess just yeah, mess around with the opacity a bit, find something that you looks uh, think looks cool and um, go from there. So I'm just gonna resize this up just like I did with the last image, just pressing control T and then dragging out the corners. And then once again, I'm gonna go to the curves, mess around with this. These colors are a lot darker than the other ones. So maybe, maybe I'm gonna go into hue and saturation right now and try and find something a little bit more funky. Maybe that looks pretty damn cool. Bring the saturation up as well. That looks pretty flippin' awesome. Bring the brightness up and just keep messing around. Keep finding something that you think looks pretty badass. Uh, mess around with the blues. I think this is more of like a purplish blue looking thing. I'm loving it right now. So um, one of the other things I want to do maybe for this is like I said, just mess around with it. I'm going to put a uh, like a like a sort of a highlight at the top here with a white brush and then sort of like a darkness here at the bottom. Set that to overlay and just sort of mess around with the settings and, and you'll find something cool eventually, but that's pretty much how you do this pattern. You can apply it to anything, like a channel banner, a desktop background, pretty much anything, even the background for like an icon, like something really simple. It's so fast to do as you guys just saw and you can apply it to so many different things. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you did learn something. If you did, a like on this video would be absolutely amazing and inspires me to make more tutorials for you guys in the future, as well as a comment as to what you want to see in the future. If you want to see a tutorial on maybe how to do this style of low poly stuff that I also have in this pack, let me know with a comment down below and of course subscribe if you're new here guys i always put out more tutorials more speed arts and uh, just commentaries all the time so if you're into that kind of stuff make sure to subscribe for more but anyways guys hope you guys have a great day once again my name has been tie-dye and i'll catch you in the next video see ya